first up at 11 tonight, our big story. Happy Halloween. <laughs> yes, you heard it right. It is November, but some communities move their Halloween activities to tonight. Thanks for joining us on Eyewitness News at 11. I'm Kevin Hogan. On Thursday, the holiday became a dreary one with rain and winds. Chelsea Shante Passmore takes us to a town where the ghosts and goblins roam the streets. In Naugatuck, you'll find superheroes, princesses, and scary clowns trick-or-treating. Never mind the calendar reads November 2nd. This is what a Halloween do-over looks like. Sound the sirens. Get a candy stockpile going. What's your favorite candy? Um, Hershey's. Because hundreds of children are hunting for sweet treats. As you can well see, look at all the kids, and I'm going to run out of candy soon. <laughs> I've, I've already probably got 300. On Millville Avenue, you'll find Woody's, Iguanas, and this guy. As you can see, this is my rooster. His name is Donald <laughs> Lowe. Call this neighborhood effort a tradition. To be clear, no one canceled Halloween, but neighbors felt the kiddos would enjoy trick-or-treating with clearer skies and no wind gust. The police department agreed, so trick-or-treating on Millville Avenue moved to Saturday, where the road was closed to drivers. I think it's very cool. I think it's great that everybody decided to do it together. The other main attraction, this Area 51 theme home, complete with secretive researchers. At a band, now there's a party. Such a good time. I'm Shante Passmore, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. <laughs>